Hey guys, it's 681 Shadow. Welcome to my Boku no Hero Academia episode 23 review. Now, if you have not seen the episode yet, then I would definitely say to go in the description down below, go to the link to Kiss Anime, watch this episode, because this episode had an amazing fight in it, and it, 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 it was just really great. So if you don't want to be spoiled for this, if you don't want to be spoiled, and you definitely don't want to be spoiled, I can tell you that much, definitely go watch the episode down um, in the link that I have in, in the description, but oh my god, this episode. So, for, so we're going into the um, quarterfinals now for the, tor for the um, tournament for part of the sports festival, and the first match of the quarterfinals is Midoriya versus Todoroki, and we've seen, sort of, we've seen how um, their dynamic has kind of been building up ever since Todoroki pulled him aside. And was say, was taught was telling him the um was telling Midoriya his backstory on how Endeavor wants him to surpass All Might because Endeavor can't do it himself. So that that's definitely a um that ex ever since then we've been seeing like kind of the build up towards this, and also the fact that and that Endeavor um stopped Midoriya before Midoriya fought Todoroki, and Midoriya told him that Todoroki isn't him. So. The episode begins directly with the fight, and throughout the fight, we also get glimpses of Todoroki's past with his mother and his father, and um, and basically, and basically, um, we get some meaning towards um, well, actually, at first it shows a scene of where um, like with the first flashback was how um Endeavor's trying to train Todoroki, but Todoroki's only five, and his mother's just like. Don't do that to him, he's only five, but of course he's like hell bent on trying to surpass All Might or having Todoroki surpass All Might because I think at that point he knows that um Todoroki has the perfect quirk for um for Endeavor and his mother. So So um they keep showing things and then they keep showing these clips, but the most important of the clips and with the most important of the flashbacks that I'll say before we get into the fight is um if you remember um when Todoroki was telling Midoriya about his past he said he said um he said something about his he said that his mother said, told him that his left side which is the fire which is um the side from Endeavor his left side is unsightly as she poured boiling water on me and he and we get like full meaning of what that actually means because he because he showed it in a clip, I mean he showed it in a um, in a flashback how his how Todoroki's mother was talking on the phone with I think her mother, and saying how his left side was um was unsightly, and then he Todoroki heard her and then she poured the boiling water she poured boiling water on him, and then because of that Endeavor put him into put her into a hospital, and kept trying to train Todoroki, so Todoroki. But Todoroki still loves his mom, so that's why he wanted to completely reject Endeavor and only use his ice. But as the as they're fighting, Midoriya, as you know, he's breaking fingers and everything like that, and he eventually tells he eventually tells Todoroki why you're trying to you're trying to win only using half your power, while everyone else here is is going is doing their best to um to win with their full strength. So eventually he eventually Midoriya is able to emotionally break Todoroki. And Todoroki unleashes full force his heat his heat um side, which he which he kind of released it when they were in the cavalry race, but only a little bit. But now he unleashed it full force, and it was really awesome. You, um, you'll you'll be seeing screenshots in the video. Um, just but it just looks so awesome of him using both of his abilities at the same time to balance it out. And I really like how not only that but also um Bakugo in this episode. They both were saying on how um, they both showed how quirks have um, have physical limitations. Just like just because um, Todoroki has like an ice quirk, that doesn't mean he can use it forever. And how Bakugo has his explosion, he can't use it forever. He, there's physical limitations. Like um, if Todoroki use, uses his ice too much, he gets too co um, then he gets too cold. His movement's slow, and that actually ended up happening to to the point where um, Midor to the point where Midoriya had an easy had an easier fight for a point of the battle, but then once Todoroki started using his heat, which would balance out his ice, he 
he would be at full force with both abilities, and it was just really powerful, and um, Dementos and Midnight actually had to st try to stop the fight, but they were actually unable to, even though Sementos put up like five walls in between Midoriya and Todoroki. With Todoroki, because Todoroki um, made a bunch of ice and then quickly thawed it and turned it into heat, which created a huge explosion along Midoriya's attack. It was able to break through those, those walls and Midoriya was completely just um, unconscious and he wasn't dead, so um, Todoroki was able to advance to the, to the semifinals. So it was just an amazing fight. Um, it's definitely something I'm gonna rewatch a lot because, because um, even though Bakugo versus Uraraka last week was a great fight, this just was completely above that, in my opinion. It was the great fight, the best fight we've had so far. I honestly think it's better than um, All Might against Nomu back in season one. So, um, and also it was kind of funny when and when um, Todoroki used his fire. Endeavor got so happy, he started like shouting. So, it, it was really, it, that was really just, that was a really funny scene, but I really loved this episode. It was a great fight. So, let me know what you guys thought of this um, episode down in the um, comment section below. It was really good, really good fight. And in the next episode preview, we see that we're going to see the next two um, fights of the tournament being Shiozaki versus Lita and then Ashido versus Tokoyami. So, both those fights are going to be pretty cool. We also see that um, something happened to something may have happened to Lita's um, brother, who's a hero. So that's going to add that's going to add another dynamic to the fight. So, um, if you, if you guys have any predictions for next for the next episode, leave those down in the comment section below as well. Thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all next time.